Hi, I'm Chrissy. And I'm Ben. And we're the Shines. Thanks for watching Music News and click here to subscribe. Shires, pleasure to meet you. Congratulations on, um, on being the first British country band to reach the top 10 in the official UK album charts. Hey, thank you very much. Thank yeah. you very much, thank you. How are you feeling? Uh, just a little bit ecstatic, not, not going to lie, it's been absolutely amazing. This whole week building up to, to the chart position has just been really crazy and a lot of fun as well. Were you expecting it to be so high or? No, no. no not at all. And when someone said uh, at the label, they said, you know, you could go top 10. Every time you yeah. said it, I, I thought know. it was, you know, this is a joke. Let's, you know, we'll, we'll try and get people on board with this, but it's, it's not going to happen, you know. We try and tell really ourselves, fun. yeah, that, you know, this, this could be great, but genuinely never believed it at all. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, I mean, it's certainly yeah. been a busy week, as you said. Um, you know, just played C2C Festival this weekend four times. We were there as well, Music News. Um, did you have a good time? Yeah. It's yeah. great. I mean, the thing about our festival is growing every year, and the fans are so passionate. They just love their country and um, we got to play on the Brooklyn Bowl stage yeah. twice which mm -hmm. is it's such a great venue and like I think it's about 1200 people or a thousand mm -hmm. people in there and they just they knew all the words that were yeah. singing, you know, singing along the vibe was just great so you have the sort of two parts to it you've got all the pop-up stages which are almost like a little festival in, them, in themselves yeah. and then you've got the main you know, the US acts on them, the main stage and yeah yeah just like a master class watching them we got to see Lady Antebellum which you know, they're, they're a band that basically the reason we started doing yeah. what we're doing and to finally see them play live was just very cool. Yeah, a real moment for both of us. No, absolutely. Why do you think country music is getting is finding such a younger audience these days then? Um, I think the TV show Nashville, I think, has really helped. It's, it's a great insight into what goes on in the music business, which is, is always cool. And there's great singers on there as well. The songs are great. Um, we had Dolly Parton at Glastonbury just last year. Um, there's just... I don't know, it just, it feels like that for a long time people have liked country music but they haven't admitted to it. And now that, you know, bands that, such as ourselves, uh, Lady A getting out there, um, they're realising it's it's not something to, to hide away and, and be ashamed of anymore and that we can all say, you know, we, we proudly love country music. And like you say, the, the audience has got so much lower now, we couldn't believe it. There was, like little tiny kids running about yesterday, you know, and, and right up to, I don't even know what age yeah. people were, but it, it was such a broad range, yeah. it really was. Yeah, no, no, I think that is country in itself. But yeah, it has got such a popularity amongst the younger sort of generations. And, uh, but yourselves, you're both from the Shires, Bedfordshire, Hertfordshire. How, how did country music find you both then? It's quite slightly different. Mine was through Lady Antebellum. Um, I was a struggling songwriter and I was pretty much done with it. My songs just weren't working. So I heard Need You Now by Lady Antebellum and it just sort of changed everything for me. It was everything I wanted to do as a musician and, and just uh, in, in a song. And someone told me, this is country music. And I was like, no, it's not. Huh? Country music is rhinestones, it's Stetsons, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I started, I went on this journey and just listened to related artists, related songs on the internet, YouTube, Spotify, everything. And then I wrote sort of four songs that one of them, which well, actually two of them made our album, and I had these songs and I basically put a Facebook post out saying, you know, who, there must be a female country singer that wants to sing these songs with me. And luckily, a mutual friend, Tex Yeah, that's why I came into it. But um, I'd, I'd been listening to country music all my life. I didn't realise at the time how much I loved it. Um, but I was brought up listening to um, Leanne Rhymes, I love Martina McBride, um, Alison Krauss. Um, yeah, those are the, the kind of female ballad singers within kind of country music. And then um, as I grew up, I kind of started listening to Civil Wars and then Lady A. And, you know, things like Spotify kind of lose yourself on, on more and more different people as you, you kind of discover them. And I, I know Ben and I, we were like, oh, have you, have you checked out this band? And what about this band? And, and these guys as well, and this song. And it was, you know, we were just off on one yeah. when we first met, for sure. Yeah, no, no, brilliant. I mean, and, you know, doing in America, you know, doing well in America, is that important to you? Yeah, because it's, it's where the music comes from. You know, we'd love 
to have a chance to go out there and really promote. We obviously did the album out there, which yeah, is amazing. Yeah. We wrote out there, but yeah, we think of it a bit like the British invasion of the sixties. We'd be great to sort of take country music, you know, our version of it back to them. So yeah, but I think it's always been really important for us to sort of cement ourselves here and be big here first, because you know, why why should they listen to us if we're not big in our own? Yeah, it's true. But how how is it going in in America for yourselves? We haven't, we haven't promoted at all there. I mean, I think quite a few people in Nashville are talking about us now, especially after Country to Country. We had yeah, yeah. Sam Hunt, who's huge in America at the moment, he's the number one, and he saw us play, and he was like, yeah. Yeah, that chorus is a hit, and you know, people are starting to listen and starting to take notice. So mm -hmm. um, hopefully when we actually go out there, you know, they'll, um, they'll support us. Absolutely, no doubt. Um, anyway, so Brave, uh, the album, what's, what's the story behind the whole album? Well, the, the album has been written over some years, really. Um, ben had written some tracks like previous to us meeting, and then as soon as we met, we started writing. We went to Nashville to go and write with lots of different people as well out there. So it's it's been yeah years in the making, and uh, we had a lot of songs to choose from, didn't we? Yeah. And um, we, we're just very proud of of the songs on there. We've got a real mix from the kind of Friday night fun loving, you know, good good drinking songs to the kind of made in England, black and white, that are completely stripped back kind of ballads of yeah, ours. Yeah. So yeah, we really have kind of done a, a, a good mixture on there. We've also got a kind of more bluesy country song with Jekyll and Hyde as well, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, tonight kicks off with a sort of a real big sound, but you know, you've got uh, sort of the heartbreak vibe, sort of tearing your heart apart. Well, which, what do you prefer individually to sort of to sing and to, to play? Genuinely depends on my mood, honestly. So it really does. Like, it's depressing. Yeah, I know. Well, so tonight we played, um, you know, played a gigs, and it's usually our last song, and yeah. it's got a big sing along bit. And yeah, that for me, it gets me every time. I love seeing everyone just singing and having a great time. But yeah, you're right, if I'm feeling a bit, you know, low, then something like, you know, black and white, which is so, for me, I think it's really sort of beautiful and intimate. And, and also, it, they really take me back, the, the ballads take me back to when we first met. and we were just going out playing just with a guitar in like a little pub somewhere and it, that that's all we were and the, the bigger sound sort of developed slightly later so it, like I say, it, and, and it really depends on what, what mood I'm in. The, the, the upbeat songs are always fun to, to, to perform to a, cr a crowd, you know, that are, are getting involved with it all but the, the ballads I just find we can really listen to one another whilst we're on stage and you can, you can just strip it all back and just hear the vocals which, you know, the two of us we, you know, we love kind of singing a, a lot, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I first saw you at uh, Cambridge Folk Festival last year, oh, and that was yeah. a real good vibe in, in in that room. I mean, the, the yeah. festivals, you know, the sort of the friendlier, well, apart from your own gigs, obviously. Yeah. Sort mm -hmm. of real good buzz, good crowds. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. definitely. We we love the kind of festival vibe. It's a, a good one, and I think we've got a, a whole load of festivals lining up at the moment. So. Yeah, Cambridge was a bit of a wild card because that was your idea, wasn't yeah. it? And we we weren't sure if a folk audience would would take to us, and it was because we're definitely on the popular side. Yeah. So uh, and obviously a, a lot more country. So mm. yeah, we didn't know how we would be um, accepted. Yeah, you know, received. There, but no, no, it was, it was great, great. Trust me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how does the songwriting process work then between the two of you? Wow, yeah, it, it's, it's so different, yeah, I mean, sometimes I'll have something that I've just got sitting around, um, Friday night was one of those. Um, he will just send me a song over one night, he'll be like, Chrissy, I just wrote this song, <laughs> and it'd be like, what? Nashville Grace Nights, it was one of those, he just like sent it one evening, he was like, listen to this track, I was like, oh my god, I love it. But we, have, we have written together as well, and it, mm. cause it, we come from different backgrounds, I come from a songwriting background, yeah. Chrissy comes from a performing background, so... Um, I remember our first trip to Nashville to write, and you know, I've, been, I've been writing for quite a few years, whereas you were really thrown in at the deep oh end, gosh, that, yeah. like <laughs> writing with some of these writers. This is like completely who were, new for me. They yeah. were like A-list writers, and even I was sort of slightly <laughs> out of my comfort zone, whereas for you, I think it was <laughs> But it's great, I mean, we just try to write about things that we know and are, uh, what we're going through and are honest. I mean, that's what country music is for us, is the honesty, the storytelling, and, and all about the lyrics. And that's why in the song that like I made in England, for example, yeah, we talk yeah. about fish and chips, and we talk about pebble beaches and pints, you know. we Obviously, we do go slightly, you know, towards the more American fun-loving side in something like Friday night, but it's really important for us to always keep our sort of Britishness. Yeah, I mean, since you got together, saying online and that, it, it seems to just, well, it wasn't that long ago, and it seems to have gone so well. Is it sort of hard work, or is it just easy peasy? 
it's, it's a whole lot of fun. It really is. It doesn't it doesn't feel like work to us, does it? It's the easiest hard work you can do. Because, I mean, we you know we we've, we've we've been individually working for years, you know, trying to get noticed. And that fight, I mean, Charles from Lady A was saying he'd love to strip it all back and go back to that time when you fought to, to be noticed all the time. And, and, you know, we really have done our kind of groundwork, so, and that was hard in itself. But even now, the, the work is just going to get even harder. It's going to be more intense. But, you know, who, who can complain when you're doing something you love every single day? It's, and it comes in stages, you know, you have a block of writing and then you have a block of photo shoots and interviews and then you have a block of, of, of touring and being out on the road lots. So it, it kind of has its stages yeah. throughout the year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, who, who do you listen to then? Lady Antebellum, firstly. We haven't had yeah, name just... check this interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not sponsored by them, don't worry. <laughs> um, Kip Moore, we love him. Kip Moore. Yeah. Yeah, He's got a song called Hey Pretty Girl, which we just absolutely, we both absolutely Pretty love. Girl. A hey, pretty girl. Um, who else? Um, Civil Wars. Civil yeah. Wars. There is so many to mention. I swear. Um, Tim McGraw. Brett Paisley. Yeah, just. I mean, I, I think both of us though. We just love great songs, so we don't really fixate on one we, artist. We never get old. Like, never, never got bored of the the old songs. You know, we just keep keep listening yeah, to the them classics. over and over again. Yeah, for yeah. yeah, yeah. But what do you both like doing? Sort of away from the music then. I'm <laughs> um, slightly addicted to FIFA. That's my sort of way of just completely forgetting about everything in the world. <laughs> I just sit down. I get very angry though, actually, sometimes with the rest of me. He always jokes. He always says, "Oh, I'm really looking forward to getting home just to play FIFA. <laughs> I want to get home just to play FIFA." <laughs> Chrissy goes to the gym a lot. Yeah, that's all I do when I go home. I'll, I'll just have me time. I'll be sparring it up, you know, in the jacuzzi. In the That's saying not boxing, sparring it up. <laughs> no, sparring, no, 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 that's good. But, you know, what, what is the best thing then about being in the Shires right now? I think, uh, for me, honestly, it's having someone to share the whole journey with. Yeah. I mean, because you can't... If I couldn't imagine being a solo artist actually now, like being on stage and coming off, and no one else can really feel exactly what you felt. Whereas when we came off last night, you said something really sweet actually. We came off stage and we were really buzzing. It was the end of C2C mm -hmm. and the fans loved it and everything. And you said, oh, that was amazing, that was amazing. And that last note, we just nailed it, didn't we? We sang right yeah. in the same thing. And, but we, yeah. don't usually, we don't usually finish the song like we did last night. But we weren't even looking at each other, and we just somehow knew that that's what we were going to do. But but you no couldn't you couldn't explain that to anyone else. Yeah. That feeling, I think that's the thing. Just have I, I, that's my. I hope yeah. you feel the same. Do you feel the yeah. same? <laughs> 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 no, but honestly, sharing the journey. You know, the two of us. It's. It, it, you have that instant person to go, oh my gosh, this was great, and, and or, or maybe this didn't work, and you know, we we know each other so well now that you know we bring each other up when we're feeling a bit down, or you know, bring ourselves back down to earth if we need to. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's, yeah. It's yeah, it's it's a great great partnership that we've. Fantastic. Um, well, thanks a lot for your time. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah. If for somebody that's sort of just getting into the shires, for example, and they had to listen to three songs. What three would you say, right, out of everything you've got, these are the ones to check out? Nice. Nashville Grace, guys. I yep. think that song just sums up our ambition just to bring country and make it big over here. Um, Friday night. Yeah. Big fun. party song. Have a great time. Maybe Brave? Yeah. Um, it right down? Yeah. Maybe another ballad. A big sound. Yeah. What ballad? Probably Black and what? Black and white. Black and white. Yeah, that that's really us just really stripped back and just singing together and harmonies and stuff. Yeah. So what's that? Natural Grace, guys. Friday night. And, uh, and black, black and white. white. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thanks a lot for your time. Is there anything else you'd like to say to music news watchers? Keep it country. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. Thanks a lot. Thanks Thank you very much. much. Thanks. A pleasure. Do you enjoy C T C? Thanks a lot, eh? Okay, That's great. Awesome. Awesome. Enjoy it.